right good morning welcome to my my morning i just thought i would <laughs> while i got dressed i have a kingdom life hack for you so <laughs> are you ready <laughs> and here's my kingdom life hack for you stay focused okay so <laughs> this is like i okay i just want to encourage you to live a master level walk with Yehovah by staying focused. Okay. So the end of the age is absolutely crazy. You know, you can feel it. You're, it's completely nuts. Everything is out of control, but he didn't call you to know everything. He didn't call you to solve all the problems in the world. He didn't call you to be able to understand all the problems that are happening. Um, you know, he didn't call you to go fix the, the, the problem over in Asia right now with the virus. He didn't call you to know about it and get all freaked out about it. That is not what the call is on your life, okay? Yes, I, yes, you may have like a talent, a gift, education, training. You may be a master uh, at something else and have some, you know, anointing to do something for the king in another uh, realm besides peacekeeping. I understand that and I I am so thankful for those people who are talented and gifted in, in, in uh, politics and other things that he's using right now in the world events to make things go as he wants it to go. But right now, you know, for most of us, it is simply um, enough to obey. Okay. And even if you are gifted and talented in, in things and you're being used other ways as well in, in big ways to uh, like Queen Esther to help uh, things happen the way Yahweh wants them to happen, you still are required to keep the feast rhythm. Okay. You don't get out of obeying just because you have a gifting and a calling in another area. So they have to be in sync. All right. Okay. The call on your life is to actually just live in covenant. So the most important thing that you can possibly think of or do right now is learning what that is. And I'm going to suggest that the, where the rubber of repentance hits the road is with these feasts. These feasts, the feast rhythm, the feast cycle, that is what's going to completely save your hide in these last days. I'm telling you, because if you focus on Papa's rhythm, it's going to consume you. It's going to consume your heart. It's going to consume your finances. It's going to consume everything uh, that you think about. It's going to consume you completely. And in that, you're going to be so obsessed and addicted to his things, his ways, what's coming up, the feast coming up. I mean, we have Shabbat coming up. We have a new moon coming up. We have Purim coming up. You're going to be so addicted to uh, staying in tune with those things and learning of those things and then implementing them and walking them out and being blown away by the truths in them that um, all these other things going on in the world aren't really going to give, they're not going to matter very much because you know what? You have an Elohim. Your Elohim is big enough, huge enough, to take care of you, uh, his his subjects, um, and help you navigate uh, and save you uh, as, uh, you know, he sees things and we don't. But he's telling us and he's asking us to do one thing and his one thing is to obey. He says, obey, right? He asks us to obey. And I seriously, seriously believe that in the command to obey, there is this incredible provision that is going to help us focus in these latter days. You know, I don't think that we're going to be um, freaked out like the nations, freaked out like the pagans. Um, they're running to and fro completely freaked out about everything that's happening. But as believers, we have this, you know, understanding of the of Yehovah Elohim, his heart towards us. We have a, a deep connection to the Ruach HaKodesh living in us who gives us comfort and shalom and hope. No, and we know what's uh, going to happen at the end. We may not know all the things in between every single detail, but that is the problem of our Elohim, right? Uh, but the thing that is most amazing to me is that um, they have given us, Yehovah Elohim has given us his commands and his commands are all about action. They're about like, that's the Hebrew understand. That's the Hebrew way. You know, you do, right? You actually learn and then you do. Head knowledge into heart knowledge, as I always say. And in that, I mean, oh my, it's so beautiful because all you have to do is do that. You don't have to know everything that's going down uh, in in the world and 
and, and be an expert on all of that, right? You should just clear your mind of that and walk in repentance and live the rhythm. Let the rhythm be your guide. Let the Papa's rhythm of the feast rhythm that he's already created for you to participate in. Let that be your guide. And I tell you, that is going to save us in the end of the age because it's going to help us focus um, and it's going to help us stay centered uh, on his things and his ways. It's going to give us something to do with our life. We're going to be able to be engaged in stuff that is all about him. And it's exactly what he wants us to. I am constantly auditing my life and just looking at like, where am I? And what am I actually doing with my life? And wait a minute, is this important? Should it, am I right in line with him? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I am. And I just breathe again and I go, okay, I know I'm doing the right thing. I'm doing exactly what he asked me to do. And I think if you just focus on doing doing exactly what he asked you to do, you can relax and you can have shalom and you can have beauty at the end of the age. You don't have to freak out. You don't have to hide in the closet. You don't have to find, you know, uh, you know, make sure your basement is set up to, to um, you know, to run to, you know, you just... You can rely on this incredible, amazing Elohim that we have who parted the Red Sea. Yeah. Who tells us to remember that he did that, you know, in the end that there's an exodus coming and that he will take care of his people. All you got to do is focus on him and pay attention to him and do exactly what he said to do. And I suggest that a way to do that, the best way to do that is to follow his feast rhythm. That is what it's there for. It's going to save your hide in the end of the age. Just focus on that, do that, and be obsessed with that. And I think you're going to be golden. Okay. <laughs> all right. And leave all the rest of the stuff up to, uh, and Elo they're Elohim's eyes problems. So leave it all up to him. Put blinders on and focus, people. Focus, focus, stay focused. Okay. Shalom. Bye. That's my kingdom life hack. While well, I'm getting dressed. Oh my gosh. <laughs>